Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video and today we have another expansion to the Final Girl board game brought to you by Van Ryder Games. Again, you cannot play this game without purchasing first and owning the Final Girl Core box. Can't do it ladies and gentlemen, you have to have the core box. But again, we're talking about the expansion and the title of this expansion is right up here. The Haunting of Creech Manor. So you got one final girl on one side, got the other final girl on the other side. So let's read, let's read a little bit of back before we open the box. Let's get some background information about it first. Can you survive the night in Creech Manor? In this addition to the final girl experience called The Haunting of Creech Manor, it is up to you to save a little girl named Carolyn who has become the target of a malevolent spirit. Choose either of the included final girls, Selena or Alice, and try to avoid becoming the next victim of the poltergeist of Creech Manor. Search for Carolyn in terrifying rooms like the attic and the closet. Once you found her, escape the manor with your lives before it's too late. Carolyn's life, not to mention your own, is in your hands. But will you both survive? Again, all the things that you are included in the box. Important, this is not a standalone game. You must have the Final Girl core box to play. Everything that's included, of course, brought to you by Van Ryder Games. It's for one player. It's 20 to 60 minutes. Age is 14 plus. And of course, if you need more information, go to VanRyderGames.com. And of course, as I said at the beginning, you must, must, must own a copy of the core box to play this game. Without the core box, the expansion is pretty much useless. Okay, let us move on. Crack this bad boy open and see what we got on the inside. So we're going to start off with the villain, which is the poltergeist. Again, this is your villain player board. Poltergeist, up top goes to minor dark power. Poltergeist. Here's where your dark powers go. Your health tokens go over here. Okay. Starts there. All the icons are explained to you in the core rule book, which is found in the core box set. Okay. Again, this card here gets flipped when you hit here. As it says, the dark power is revealed. And at the end, when you get to here for the finale, the major power is pulled out. The Poltergeist has no health and cannot be attacked. It has three value of three fear though. Okay, that's the killer icon. And there you go. So let's hear a little bit about this poltergeist. The poltergeist of Creech Manor. How do you fight a poltergeist? Let me ask you something. How does one fight something one cannot see? It's simple, you don't. You get the hell out of there and you don't look back. You don't turn back. You don't do anything but run. If you do, it will ruin you mentally, physically, and emotionally. Then it will kill you. Testimony of a former Creech Manor groundskeeper. The components of the villain side of the box. And of course, in the back, it tells you the special setup. The rules and special rules that you have for the poltergeist. I'm going to put that to the side right there. As always, we've got on the poltergeist side, again, villains, or I should say the, the monsters can be used in any one of the expansions that they have. If you combine the cards, you know that the little ghost symbol here tells you it's the poltergeist. Again, it's an easy way to identify cards and items that belong to the villain of or the killer from this expansion. Okay. And each side gets a little box that contains all the information. Okay. So first off, we get a couple of item cards on this side. figure out how to open this thing, it'd be even better yet. Hmm. Right, there we go. This is the only one that actually has this, this kind of, oh, it's folded over, that's why. 
some items on this side for the first time. Carolyn, but Mr. Floppy said to hide. When Carolyn joins you, remove all minor dark power cards from the game. You must escape with Carolyn to win the game. Carolyn cannot be killed or discarded for any reason. You cannot place her in your backpack. Well, that's good to know. You can't put the child in your backpack. That's good to know. Mr. Floppy, that looks like Carolyn's doll. If the dark power has been revealed, you may remove this from the game to ignore the effects of Carolyn, where are you? If this card is this card for any reason, shuffle it back into the nearest item deck. Again, goes with the poltergeist, these two cards. All right, so you get two cards. Of course, you get the terror deck once again, which controls your movement and all the stuff that you do per round. And here again, these are your dark powers. So the top goes to the top part here. The bottom goes to the bottom here. You get three top and you get two, three, four bottom cards. So the three top cards that you can choose from are Relentless Assault. Nothing is easy. And she will soon be lost. You shuffle these up. Okay, whatever. You pull the middle one and you would place it here. Once you get from here on the track or up to the top, this card, which is your final card, gets flipped over. And it's Relentless Assault. These two would go back into the box. Same thing here. You pull one card. Got it. Put it down here. When you get the Dark Power here, you would flip this card. And this card would be Stiff Wind. Or it could be possibly Invisible Barrier. Eternal Despair. Forgetting something. It's Stiff Wind. Again, you get used one card. Again, it's randomized. So that card goes down there and it flips when it tells you to flip it. Okay, there you go. Again, the Terror cards. Is your actions for the Poltergeist. Okay, and it's got the little. So in case you use this one with any of the other expansions, you know it comes back in this box because it's got the little ghost symbol. And the ghost symbol can be identified right there again where it says poltergeist. Okay. So it's easy for you to track where your cards are and what, what expansions they go to. Everything was flying around, everything's flying around. Unstoppable evil. Roll a die. Take equal to your roll. You may defend or kill that many victims if you choose which victims. The shadows are closing in. The shadows are closing in. The ground is shaking. Did that clown just move? Corporeal form. Carolyn, where are you? Carolyn, where are you? Nothing is as it seems. I have to kill you. It told me to kill you. Where the hell did this storm come from? Again, your minor dark powers, which go up top here, one and one, which is psychic confusion. If Carolyn is with you, discard and draw the next terror card. Roll, take one die away when resolving a search card. Prior to playing a search card, you may spend, lose three time to ignore this penalty. Discard this card when you find Carolyn. Unseen forces. If Carolyn is with you, discard and draw the next terror card. You first space moved each action phase is panicked. Discard this card when you find Carolyn. So those are your terror cards and those are your actions for your poltergeist. Again, with the poltergeist, again, I showed you this already, but I want to remind you again, this tells you the rules and how to use the poltergeist and why this poltergeist is different than all the other um, villains that are in the other expansions. So again, you come on to this side, magnetized, you pull it up, which is really cool. Boop. And again, right away, it tells you Creech Manor, and there's the manor house itself. I'll put this down here real quick. So I'm going to show you this real quick. quick. Creech Manor. Again, that's the icon that if you use this box, again, the heroes, Selena and Alice, you don't have to use it only in this expansion. You can use those two girl, final girls and any of the other expansions. Creech Manor can be used with, again, with any of the other villains. So again, the cards are told by the icon up here. So if you can't get them really confused, it's right there, Creech Manor. Hi, Rosie. Creech Manor. Creech Manor is over 100 years old with the kind of character and historic charm that people love. It is the kind of home where every step, every new room can call to one's imagination a story from the past. But the stories of Creech Manor are filled with horrifying events. Macabre, 
happenings and supernatural powers beyond human understanding. Go away for evil reigns within. And here are your components that go to this side of the box. Set. Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side. I'll put that right over here. And again, we have your two. We have our two heroines. You have Alice. Choose one named action card for the remainder of the game. Whenever you play that named action card, always roll exactly five dice regardless of the horror level or any other modifier. That's pretty good. For each additional victim saved, recover one life. And over here, so you save one part. You could save up to six people. You get you get two time, which is in, which is expand. Um, you add two time, get an extra life. You get an extra life, so it puts it from four to six. Takes a cost. Uh, take a cost two or less action card. Move up to two spaces. Move one space. And that's Alice. Again, Selena. When resolving a search action card, roll two additional dice. For each additional victim of saves, receive two time. Increase time by two, move one space. Take a search action card and drop fear by two, and she has six health. All right, so that's Selena. Now, as we've known about each of, oh, put that down here and turn this card over real quick. So as we already know, each of these characters, based on the other expansions that we played, or shown you already, you've got yourself uh, the special weapon which goes in the dossier folder here. And of course, you've got four, and this is for Selena's flashlight. Hi, Rosie. This item may only be used when Selena is chosen as your final girl. So it's an item. You throw it in the item pile, you shuffle them up, and eventually you'll get her fantastic secret weapon. Selena's flashlight, they say ignorance is bliss, but I'll keep the light. Thank you very much. Once per action phase, you may look at the top card of the terror deck. Leave it on top or place it at the bottom of the deck. You may discard this card while on a um, icon explained to you to take the top item card. Only Selena may use this item. There it is. Again, that goes right in dossier. Again, Selena is the only one who can use that one. And this is the for Alice's eyes only. Again, Alice is the one who gets her, her basic her weapon. Again, Alice's shotgun. The item can only be used by Alice. Click, click, boom. Alice's shotgun cannot modify an action card and must be used without one. Once per turn, you may discard one card from your hand and roll six dice. Deal that much damage to each enemy in your space for each star that is rolled. If at least half of the dice are blank, discard Alice's shotgun so you lose it. Only Alice may use this item. It goes back into the item card and it's discarded. You can pop up again. Once it's gone, it is whoop, gone. And that's again the special one for Alice. Again, you get another container for uh, the Creech Manor side box. Okay, now before we go any further, I'm going to show you this pull this off real quick as you know you get your set of cards which I can show you really quickly here's your set of cards you get five different ones you get one called creep show one called the ladder dancing queen strange trophies and the dead zone so you take these cards and you gotta shuffle them up you move them around and you shuffle them in there and you shuffle this one back here that all right and you pick one i'm gonna pick the middle one as always and then we're gonna show you how to set this up okay so your setup card goes up here so you know where it belongs it goes up top here where it says setup okay let's look at the map real quick it says garage attic closet and here you are garage so obviously a wrench you could fix things the trophy room it's like a window up there or something the attic the closet Ballroom, foyer, trophy room. Other areas located in the, I guess this is the basement here. All right, this might be outside, I'm not sure. Find out when we look through the rules. So again, when looking at the map, it tells you how to set it up. So two victims go up here. One goes over here. 
to go into the trophy room. Your final girl starts here in this room. The killer starts down here in the ballroom. Okay, and one victim goes here. Okay, and that's how you would set up the game board by utilizing the setup cards. Put this back up here. And that's your set of cards. You also get your item cards. You get a special weapon, depending on which one you choose, it gets thrown into this deck. You shuffle them up. All right, then you go like this. Your items, ancient text, crucifix, candle, shotgun, list of things in the rope ladder, padlock, Ritual Dagger, Mysterious Pills, Old Revolver, Knife, First Aid Kit, Trash Can Lid, Energy Drink, Lucky Rabbit's Foot, Lucky Dice, Map, and Flashlight. Those are your items that you can find throughout the house. Of course, you've got your event deck also. Lights Out, I Ain't Afraid of No Ghost. Clingy Victims, Push to the Edge, let's see what that says here, roll a die for each victim in a, looks like a window, if the roll is a failure, the victim jumps and is killed, oh, they jump, they commit suicide out a window, oops, no good, Curiosity Killed the People, Frozen in Fear, Liquid Courage, No One Comes Back, there's one of those icons, we'll show you that in a second, Helicopter Rescue, I guess on the roof, Ghost Hunters, you get three of them. But those three guys, you go, wait a minute, they're not in the box. Well, you know why? Because you can only find them where? In the core box. You have to have the core box. Again, lights out. I ain't afraid of no ghost. And these are, we've all read them, the rest. These are all your event cards. So those are here. You've got your tokens. You've got your helicopter. Broken ladder. Oh, there's your broken ladder. There's a lock. Not sure what that is. It looks like a broken grate or something like that. And of course, the death's head. And of course, we know that this is used for Creech Manor. Okay. And they pop out very, very easily, as you can tell. There they are. And they come out really, really quickly. And they go back in. So you don't lose them. Here. This goes in here, and last but not least are, of course, are your terror cards. The windows and doors just slam shut. Something is coming through the wall. The trees are alive. Voices, I hear voices. Let's see what this says here. If you are in a window, then lose a life. All victims in a window are killed. If at least one victim was killed, your horror rating goes up. You have to flip an event card. Voices, I hear voices. It's coming, it's coming. It's broken. Something unholy happened in the, it's a fake. So those are the tarot cards that you use at, when directed in Creech Manor. So again, everything that's pictured here is included in this expansion for Final Girl. Again, this expansion is called The Haunting of Creech Manor. And that concludes this unboxing for the expansion for Final Girl. Of course, it's been released by Van Ryder Games. It features Creech Manor. Again, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing. Um, if you liked it, give us, a, give, a, give us a thumbs up. You can always leave a comment below. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to be informed as to when new material is being released or new videos are being released as well. Uh, thank you for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.